original first Aunt Jemima. She was a picture of the American dream. I urge for your support. Again, you know me. You know that I'm honest. You know that I have good integrity. You know that I have good character. And I ask you to vote for me on August the 4th. There is no room here for sellouts and there is no room here for two-faced flunkies. And must stop. Kim Worthy takes money from police unions, but she won't take responsibility for locking up innocent black people. Worthy sent a 14-year-old to prison for a crime he didn't commit. And she wrongfully convicted a black mother forced to give birth in chains. I don't know what happened. No doubt about it, this is a turbulent time and there is no shortage of, of opinions when it comes to police brutality. But that may have cost a Wayne County assistant prosecutor her job. Tiana Walsh now stepping down after a controversial post on Facebook. We're going to go live to 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell. She's on Detroit's west side. Kim, fill us in. Yeah, she made a post on Facebook commenting on the violent protest in Baltimore saying solution, simple, shoot them. I was actually outraged over what I saw. What defense attorney Cliff Woodard saw was a post written by his Facebook friend, assistant prosecutor Tiana Walsh. So I am watching the news in Baltimore and see large swarms of people throwing bricks, etc., at police. 15 in the hospital already. Solution? Simple. Shoot them. And I was really bothered by the fact that she is part of a law enforcement community sworn to uphold the law instead of actually acting as a judge, jury, and executioner by saying the problem can be eliminated by simply shooting people. He posted criticism on his Facebook page. Next thing he knows, the National Action Network calls for discipline during a press conference, saying as a prosecuting attorney, she should support due process whenever possible. How does she go after then defendants? Is she willing to do away with due process, willing to overlook indiscretions or law breaking on the part of rogue police officers? We don't know. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office told 7 Action News Assistant Prosecuting Attorney Tiana Walsh, seen here, is known for her great work ethic and compassion of crime victims. She had been disciplined, but would not lose her job. Then, less than an hour later, Tiana Walsh resigned. The thing, though, that really needs to get out is she made a decision to resign. She wasn't asked to resign by uh, Kim Worthy's office. Attorney Woodard says Tiana also made another decision on her own. She unfriended him. Unfortunately, she unfriended me along with a lot of other people in the court. Now, I reached out to Attorney Walsh for a comment, but she did not get back to me. In the meantime, the prosecutor, prosecutor's office did release a statement saying that that post was only up for a brief time, and then she took it down, and that this does not reflect on the person that they know Tiana Walsh to be. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Sir. Kim Worthy is a fixture of the establishment. If you've seen throughout her career, she protects the oppressor class. If you have this assistant prosecutor, Tina Walsh, who actually she didn't change their name and everything is Livingston. Now her last name is Livingston, but they allowed her to resign. Kim Worthy did allowed her to resign and then come back a year later with no punishment for articulating death threats. Now, if you look at her prosecutors, they're all white. Right now, most are they all white males. But here's the key. She's a fixture of the establishment. Again, when white people support you, white people not going to support something that goes against their structure. When you see the full support from, from the white establishment for Kim Worthy, that's because she's a mammy doing their bidding. The original first Aunt Jemima, she was a picture of the American dream. She was a freed slave who went on to be the face of the pancake syrup that we love and, and have in our pantries today. Our justice system is broken. Under Kim Worthy, Wayne County has more wrongful convictions than every county in Michigan combined, costing taxpayers $10 million and 1,000 cases of false convictions still pending. The injustice, the injustice must stop. Victoria Burton Harris is a lawyer who fights for the people, not crooked cops. She'll end cash bail and the racial disparity in the criminal justice system. For a safer and just Wayne County, Victoria Burton Harris for prosecutor.